Hey, what's up everybody? This is EphoenixN, and I am playing a little Black Ops. This is some domination here. Obviously it's on Havana, and I am running around with the M60, one of my favorite guns. Uh, I don't use it all that often because it's not the most versatile weapon in the game, but uh, it's definitely a, a very good weapon. I like it quite a bit, so it's uh, pretty fun to use. But uh, anyway, I did pretty well here. Nothing outrageously amazing, but uh, not too bad, and yeah, I think I did a pretty good job uh, helping my teammates win, so. I have actually gotten into Black Ops lately, a little more than what I was earlier. I had started almost not playing it at all, and I suddenly started uh, today, um, especially playing just a ton. I played for like multiple hours today, and um, I don't know, I had a lot of fun with it, and it was really exciting, I was doing well, was, you know, as far as, like, playing by myself, and, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, and, so it was kind of nice, it was kind of refreshing, but, then my game disc got a little crack in it somehow, and now my game won't work, so, I might not bring, be bringing you guys too much Black Ops, uh, just because, yeah, I don't have a disc right now, uh, which is unfortunate, so, um, yeah, normally, uh, I mean, I had a Modern Warfare 2 where the disc cracked, I had to buy a new one, but I could actually play still, I just couldn't play within a party, but, um, now I can't play at all, <laughs> so, uh, you won't be seeing any black apps from me, probably for a little while, I can't, I, for one, I hate spending the money than buying it all over again, especially since I haven't been playing it too much lately. So I might actually go back, oh, that's funny, guy with hack and search. Um, I might go and play a little uh, Call of Duty 4 a little more often, um, just because I turned in the Modern Warfare 2 game uh, a little while ago. And so I might, you might see some of that, some of the footage from that, but uh, yeah, Black Ops is kind of out of the question for the moment. And so yeah, that's just that, and I'm not sure if I really want to spend the money to get a... Uh, well, a whole new game if I'm not really going to be playing it that much. So, I mean, I've been playing a lot within the last, like, week. But just in general, I don't want to get a game that's kind of dead. So, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do as far as that yet. But, um, yeah, no, that's just that. Uh, I'm playing a lot of Domination today. And one thing I've noticed is that the randoms, uh, you know, when you're obviously not playing on a coordinated team, a lot of them don't do a bad job at... Well, at, at capping flags, they run around trying to cap flags quite a bit, which is fine, because some of them, you know, aren't very good players, and so it doesn't take a great player to jump on a flag, but, oh my god, they are completely incompetent when it comes to defending. I mean, I, I found that's the biggest problem. If they would just sit in a spot and defend, we would do so much better, I'd, you know, it'd be so much easier to play with randoms, because, like, they... They want to jump on a flag over and over again. They keep, like, triple capping and stuff like that, which is annoying, but it's whatever. And so you can't really get a spawn trap really going or anything like that. But, I don't know, just I've noticed, like, holy crap, they do not defend at all. They do a great job of capping. They just don't defend. It makes it really difficult to uh, contr do very good map control because every as soon as, like, C is gone, I run to C and I defend C. And by that time I get back to B, B's taken, then I have to... Cat B with some teammates, and then by the time I cat B C has been uh, capped, <laughs> it's like this whirlwind of like back forth, back forth. Man, I just, it's amazing how difficult it is playing by yourself. Because I'd gotten so used to playing uh, with a, a party that uh, now that I'm pretty much never play with a party anymore, holy crap! It's like it's it's so much more difficult and challenging to have to backpack an entire team, especially when it comes to like defending and just like really playing the objective. I don't mean just like trying to jump on any flag you see, but I mean really defending uh, and really I think playing the objective the best way it can be played. But um, anyway, uh, that's not really what I want to talk about uh, as far as uh, this this video, but um, what I did want to talk about is uh, Woody's Gamertag recently came out with a video talking about Infinity Ward versus uh, Treyarch as far as de game developers and you know, which one's better, which one's been more successful as far as, like, their actual games, not uh, money-wise. And I think I will go with the less popular choice here, which, for me, anyway, the reason why I, I say 
Hmm. Well, put it this way. I like Infinity Ward better. Now, first thing I want to say is I know Treyarch does a lot better job of um, patching their games. They do a lot better job of monitoring and uh, updating their game. And they do a lot of post-release... Uh, I don't know, post-release improvements to their game, which is great. It's fantastic. That's awesome. But, realistically, um, I don't know. I, I think I would rather have the innovation that um, Tr Infinity Ward brings to a game. Because at the end of the day, I know Treyarch did a lot to uh, in improve uh, after Modern Warfare 2, you know, the, the Noob 2's one-man army issue, and they've done some things that really helped out... Um, the, the Call of Duty franchise, or at least as far as um, fixing some of the things that was wrong with the previous game. But, and this is very important, they have not really done anything innovative um, at all, to be honest. If you look at all the big innovations with Call of Duty, they're almost all Infinity Ward. And um, that's why Infinity Ward's their games. You know, you can complain that, oh, the patches aren't enough, you know, and some of the, the ideas behind their setup didn't uh, work as well as they anticipated, but all the things that really make a game stand out um, as being different from the comp competition as, uh, as far as a first person shooter that was pretty much all done by Infinity Ward not Treyarch and so that's kind of where my money is rested at I, that's what I like considerably more uh, than just an improvement on a, on a previous game because realistically looking at um, Black Ops. Black Ops is pretty much, in a lot of ways, seems like an expansion pack. You know, it, I'm just talking about the multiplayer, that's it. Um, but the multiplayer in it, there seems to be a legitimate expansion pack to feel towards it. Like, okay, what we're going to do is you can have mostly the same guns. What we're going to do is we're going to tweak uh, quick scoping and sniping so that sniping is pretty much useless unless you're, like, sit in a corner. You know, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the new tube problem and we're going to give you new maps. And that's what it is. And that's pretty much the only difference. Besides that, there's some more customization, which is cool and it's nice. But it, at the end of the day, I'm not sure Black Ops um, did much to innovate, to, uh, to really bring a creative uh, originality to, well, to Black Ops. And, you know, that, that's kind of my problem with it. And that's why a lot of people are saying, I don't, you know... This is really, this game is what, three months in now? Basically, maybe the three and a half, four months, I can even say maybe four months in. And a lot of people I know are kind of abandoning it in waves. They stop playing it, they're not playing it as often. And even if you, even if you don't find it on a technical level to be as frustrating as say, um, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, you know what? Most of the people that played that, played that into September. You know, and maybe by September or August, they were having tons of problems with it, and they were really frustrated, but they still were playing it. And Call of Duty 4 lasted forever. I guess that's my point, is that for me, I'll take innovation and, and creative originality over it, um, which is what Modern Warfare 2 does. So I guess this is kind of a response video to Woody's uh, vid. But anyway, I did good on this, uh, this one here. I went 30 and 5, which is not too bad. Anyway, guys, see you later. Peace.